United Auto Workers President Sean Fain says he will announce the next step in the two week long auto strike Friday. Auto workers in Delta Township remain on the picket line tonight. Striking workers in Lansing have some new financial options to help feed their families. News 10's Mars Anderson has the details. Tony Glover and Jason Elston are two of more than 6,000 auto workers on the picket line in Michigan, many now facing financial challenges while striking for better pay and benefits. This is Glover's third time striking. He says one thing he learned from those experiences is to budget. It's very much challenging to, for some people, you know what I'm saying? So especially the, one, the new ones that never been through this and it, if you're not prepared for it. Elston is a father of five who says he's taken a financial hit while attempting to pay bills and feed his family. The financial Financial is going to definitely hurt us. While UAW is paying striking members $500 a week, LAFQ has stepped in to offer striking workers some relief. Kelly Ellsworth Etchison says the Here to Help program is more than just a strike loan. It offers help with debt consolidation, credit counseling, and more. Maybe you're not a LAFQ member, but you're impacted by the strike. You are on strike. You've not yet had an account with LAFQ. You can open an account with LAFQ and apply for a strike loan. LAFQ is offering striking members up to $4,000 to help for however long the strike could last. If you need help, don't wait. Come see us. You got to stop doing a lot of extra little stuff and focus on what you need to uh, focus on. For News 10, I'm Mars Anderson reporting. Coming up, we'll have a preview of former President Donald Trump's planned visit with auto workers in Metro Detroit. Make sure to stay with us for News 10 at 6. If Congress can't reach a deal